Arts Critique Video Presentation. GE6A Hello and good day everyone. My name is Joanna Cinde Nemoko and for today's video, I'm going to have a critique about the painting of Leonardo da Vinci, which is The Last Supper. So first, let's describe his painting. The Last Supper by Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci is one of the most famous painting in the world. The scene's composition is brilliant in its massive simplicity. The impact is amplified by the stark difference in the mindsets of the twelve disciples in comparison to Christ. The Last Supper, also known as the Lord's Supper, is the final meal eaten by Jesus and his disciples in an upper room in Jerusalem on the occasion of the Eucharist institution. There is a pattern of the arrangement of the apostles in the windows behind them. The apostles are arranged in four groups of three. The windows behind Jesus are also in a group of three. There is a direct contrast between the serenity of Jesus and the chaos and confusion that surrounds him. The painting of the Last Supper is one of the most interesting and interviewing of all the times because it represents one of the most iconic moments in human history and Christian history. This was the night which Jesus announced before those assembled that one of them would betray him. Next is Analyze, the painting of Leonardo da Vinci. As I analyze his painting, there is different textures, such as the tablecloth may be seen in the artwork, with a lot of shadows and gloomy colors like blue, white, and gray. And the, ar the artist used the colors in a sad and dark style. The artist attempted to create an atmosphere in which one could could see in Jesus' divinity and a highly holy mood. The shapes are employed in this painting to create a scene of space, such as the squares and rectangles, which are components of the building in the painting. The line were employed to create a space, a sense of profundity in the painting's back half, as well as volume. The texture is used to embellish the outfits of disciples. Most of the composition is taken up by a long horizontal table seating Christ at the center with his 12 disciples to his left and right. The figures are all facing us, the viewers. We notice three vertical windows behind the figures the central window being directly behind Christ, highlighting his figure and importance. The exterior, seen through these windows, suggests a green and lush mountainous landscape. Pattern is produced by the repetition of motifs, colors, shapes, or lines and can be used to organize the the composition and emphasize certain motifs of other elements. There are seven example geometric patterns in the Da Vinci's Last Supper painting. As we can see the ceiling in the painting is a grid of rectangles and there are rectangle shaped tape stripes lining the walls. There is also a pattern on the tablecloth. The painting is a fresco meaning that it was painted with watercolor on wet plaster before it dried. This produces a chalky texture. Next is I will interpret the, the painting with Leonardo da Vinci. The mood of the painting is sad. The focus of this painting, the moment when Jesus tells his disciples about his death. The mood is is of disagreement and tension. The painting shows the moment when Jesus tells his disciples that one of them will betray him. The artist's statement called for a representative piece on a well-known palace. Its significance extends to beyond a single picture, 
We believe he wished to produce the most famous painting of Christ and his final dinner. To us, it also signifies a method for people to see how Christ's Last Supper was. It only has religious and cultural significance because it is a Renaissance painting. When we look at it, we get a sense of harmony, as though everything is in its proper place. Everything was centered on Christ in the midst. Lastly is my judgment about the painting of Leonardo da Vinci. As I look at his artwork, I think that this work was successful because I believe that the artist did the excellent job of using the elements of arts, the colors and principle of designs balanced to communicate how Jesus and disciples work together and feels about each other and the emotion of each other and the painting is very clear and we can see there the the mood of and the message of the painting and that's all for for today's video i hope that you learned something from my video or my critic about the painting of leonardo da vinci which is the last supper thank you bye submitted by Jana Namoko submitted to Man Aqualindaleda Campos. Thank you for watching.